Last week, a UN report highlighted four simple ways to mitigate the effects of climate change. But why take the easy way out when there's another, more complicated option? It's called climate hacking, and it's a big hit with Silicon Valley thought leaders and Republican lawmakers. Natural allies like jackals and vultures, or snakes and other snakes. <laughs> Here to share more about this exciting new field is our own Dave Barclay. Hey, it's me, Dave. Dave, tell us a bit more about climate hacking. Well, the basic idea is this. Reckless meddling with the environment got us into this mess. Therefore, reckless meddling with the environment is going to get us out of this mess. Hey, it's how I fix my sister's marriage. Go on, Dave. One proposal, or hack, to stop global warming? Using satellites to block out the sun, which scientists now know is very hot. <laughs> Hold on a second, is this a real proposal or a sci-fi fever dream? In 2019, <laughs> everything is both. <laughs> but this particular bit of fevered realism is one the US government has been considering since the Bush administration, a famously sane administration. But don't we, how do I put this? Need the sun? I guess we'll see. <laughs> but if you're a big fan of the old hot gas ball, you're really gonna hate this next idea. It's called stratospheric aerosol injection. Bill Gates is a fan, so you know it's gotta be good. Ooh, does it come with a free trial of Microsoft Office? No, but it's just as bad. <laughs> see, when a volcano explodes, the sulfur it releases reflects sunlight, lowering temperatures. So the idea is we intentionally fill our atmosphere with crisp, fresh-smelling sulfur. <laughs> just like that, climate change and our beautiful blue skies become a thing of the past. Now, I'm a few years out of Sunday school, but isn't sulfur famously the atmosphere in hell? <laughs> this is science, Miguel. Leave your hell out of this. <laughs> Moving on to the blood red seas. The what? It's called ocean fertilization. Here's how it works. By dumping fertilizer into the sea, we can grow algae, which breathes in carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, the algae is blood red. I mean, I guess that's not the worst thing. No, the worst thing is it's also extremely poisonous. <laughs> but on the bright side, think how many dead rotting fish will wash up on shore. How is that the bright side, Dave? Oh, many species of fish are bioluminescent, and since we blocked out the sun, we'll need them to view the hateful Crimson Sea. Okay, so the solution to climate change is to create a smelly, fish-lit hellscape with a dead red ocean and a brimstone sky. You're kinda glass-half-empty person, aren't you? Well, it's just that these side effects to these temporary solutions seem like they're gonna make things worse. Can't we just, I don't know, cut emissions? No. <laughs> no, that's too expensive. Uh, well, Dave Barkley, everybody. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.